in and I have a pot on the fire for the chicken. I already seasoned my chicken, so I'm gonna go ahead and French fry my chicken. And then this is a pot for the sauce. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make the sauce. So as these take their own little time and roast, then I'm gonna go ahead and put in the chicken. So this is a flour that I will be coating the chicken with. And I already seasoned the flour the way I want it. I don't want it too salty, just enough seasoning to pop the taste. So in this procedure, I could use um, egg to make a wash for the chicken, but not everyone in this house eat eggs. So I am just coating the chicken with just the flour and then I will be adding it to the pot. Guys, this is one of my specialty to cook for a whole family. So I'm doing my thing. Let's see how they rate it. Welcome to the live. I saw one person. Please remember to thumbs up the live. I would appreciate it so much. So, those who said, oh, I didn't coat the chicken with eggs, as I said earlier on, not everyone loves eggs in the family. So when you're doing a large, when you're cooking for a group of people, you have to take those ones that don't eat certain things into consideration, what they eat. So, I'm making sure that I don't add any um, eggs to the chicken. Oops, oh my gosh, I made a mess. Oh my gosh. OMG. I make a mess. Look at that. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. Let's see if I can get it from the burner. Oh my God. So, if you don't spill things, you don't learn from it. So, that's my first time ever spill anything. So I try to get get it off the burner so it doesn't smell like I'm burning down the kitchen. But that's just the flour on, on the burner. All good. All is good. That's how it goes. Accidents do happen. So how I roast the breadfruit, I burn the top and then I'm gonna burn the bottom. Hi Miss Wright, hello. Hold on guys. Miss Wright said, hello Alice, how are you? I'm doing fine. Yes, Miss Wright, you can get some even though I make a mess right here. <laughs> But that's all right, after the cooking is over. Hi, Juba, welcome, Juba. Juba is saying welcome. I am trying to be more careful, my dear. I am. Just a little accident. In kitchen, we have to look out for accident. So that's my accident. But I'm careful. I didn't, I didn't want to use my hand to hold the, um, the chicken, so the fork kind of um, let it turn over. Hello, Miss Wright. 
Hello Duba, welcome to the live. I'm here cooking up a farm for the little family. Thank you for the thumbs up. Love you too, Juba. Juba say thumbs up done. Thank you. Hello, blessings to you, Miss Wright. Miss Wright, Juba is saying hello to you. Juba said, uh, Miss Wright said, you should rub the <laughs> breadfruit with oil and then wrap them in foil paper and then roast them on top of the stove. Well, I normally do it this way, but I have to try your way. I mean, maybe tomorrow because I pick a lot of breadfruit today. And I also have a video to show you guys how I went and picked those breadfruit. So I will try it your way tomorrow when I'm roasting more. But normally I roast it this way. And after roasting it this way, it doesn't take a long time. It gets the job done. So let's see. Miss Wright is saying, hello Juba, how are you doing? Juba says, okay. Guys, I went and get some more flour because of the little accidents I have, so I get some more flour and I put this inside the flour, the seasoning, to let it pop the taste of the chicken. So when the chicken um, go inside the flour, it has this nice, beautiful taste also there. I'm checking the comments. Arlene said, nice to have you, Duba. And Duba, you sent a lot of emoji. I don't know what those emoji mean. Get a knife for the guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another one in the pot. So it won't look like when it's fried, it won't look like how you do it with the egg wash and stuff. 
it will look totally different because there's no egg added to this one. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. Because there's no egg added. So I'm going to make the sauce for the chicken in this pot. I'm going to use a little browning. I'm going to use a little sweet and spicy um, hot sauce, hot pepper sauce, the great flavor. And then I'm going to add some tomato ketchup. Okay guys, I'm turning the bread through. So the next time I turn it, I will have to use the kitchen, the dish towel or greener paper because it's gonna get hot on both sides. So I'm gonna put the sauce in here. So I'm using teaspoon. This is what I'm using with the sweet browning. There you go. Don't know if you guys are seeing me because I'm using my data. So, maybe foggy. And then for the sweet and sour, I'm using four drops. One, two, three, four. I know you guys want to see it, but I add in the sweet and sour. And then I mix it around. That's the color you're gonna get. There you go. I add the ketchup in. That's the color. And then I'm going to add some onion, sweet pepper, scallion, scotch bonnet pepper to make it spicy. That's the color of the sauce. I don't know if you guys see me. That's the color of the sauce.
so that's what the chicken will be looking like. That's just one side. So I'm spinning it over. So the other side is gonna be have the same color, just the same. Normally I would cover the pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. At least you don't cover the chicken while it's frying to make the chicken seem well frying. You're saying, at least you don't cover the chicken while it's frying to make the chicken. So you're saying that I shouldn't cover it or I should? Normally I would cover it. Um, that's how I saw my mom do it. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't, but that's how I saw my mom do it when she's frying chicken. She normally cover it, but she doesn't let it cover it so too long. She let it cover for like a few minutes and check in between to make sure that um, it is steaming properly while it's frying. My mom always does that. Well, if it's not supposed to turn that way, it's pretty new to me. But everybody cooking metal is different, so maybe I should remove the, the um the cover from the pot. Why you do why you don't? Okay, you're saying I should cover it. Oh I cover it. Because that's how my mom taught me. I just didn't remember to bring the cover around here. That's how she taught me. And she always said lower the heat. So I am lowering the heat to make sure. Yes, cover it. That's what I mentioned. Okay, my Miss Wright is saying I should cover the pot while the chicken is frying. Yes, Miss Wright. That's how my mom taught me. I forget to do that. It's the best way. It cooks and it steams while it's cooking. Thank you for the recommendation. Guys, I love you, you know. Let me make my little mistake and correct me. Correction is good. Oh yes, my mom is an awesome cook. If she weren't sick, Miss Wright, I would be in bed and she would be doing this because she loved to do this. She spoiled us. But we know it's our time to spoil her. <coughs> Guys, my bread food, they come along nicely. coming along very nicely. 
especially this one. It's getting good. So right now what I'm doing, <clears throat> I get to get to get the sauce together. I have scallion, scotch bonnet, garlic, half our onion. Um, I'm using three pegs of garlic because I like to have that garlic flavor. So that's what I'm doing right now to make the sauce. And then to seal the sauce, my secret ingredients, I'm going to tell you guys, I like to have a piece of thyme in the sauce. So when it's simmering, it has a nice thyme flavor. So right now I'm cutting up my seasoning. pepper guys seeds and everything because my family they love spice so I use a whole pepper if, <clears throat> if my friend is watching she's gonna say oh my god Alex that's too much pepper but I'm from a family that loves pepper I love pepper, they love pepper, it's amazing. Guys, right, coming along so good. Amazing. Okay, a few more minutes. I will be taking those out. And Put in the rest. So we are going to have Miss Wright said your mom is a good cook. Yes, she is an awesome cook. <laughs> no, I'm not burning Miss Wright said we're not be burn up the bread food. No, 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 we're not burning up. Now I'm gonna pick none at all. I'm trying to use my hand as a towel. <laughs> I use my hand turning it. But I'm not burning it up. I got it covered.
Guys, if you taste the sauce, it will be so amazing. There's another comment. Let me check the comment. Mr. I said, what kind of drink you will be making? Or you'll be having? We go have lemonade. We are going to have lemonade. Um, my sister is making the lemonade. She, and I should say limeade because the lemon isn't ready as yet. Limeade. My sister is making the limeade. So that's the sauce I put over there. And guys, the sauce is wow. First one. Second one. Third one. So guys, I am not a chef. I'm just trying to think. But I always cook for the family, especially when I have um, family visiting. And it's gonna be a big family. I always cook for them. Let me tell you a little secret, you see? You see, before me present the food, I always said to them, June plum, mango, pineapple, and ginger. Me girl, Miss right. that sounds delicious. It tastes good, I mean, I taste yet. That tastes good. And you just present it in a so nice, um, what you could have, would have call it, in fancy glass there. Eh? I make it look like, say, I want a nice restaurant to sit down and buy them and purchase it, rather. Yeah, that song go, but guess what? The June plum, did it? No, no pineapple. We have ginger. And we don't have no mango, because it's mango no, no come up this year. No, no, if it go come. It, and the apple season finish it. it no, there is no apple on the apple tree, so. A lemonade, a lemonade I do today. Yes, yes, Miss Wright, lemonade is awesome. Full of real vitamins, good vitamins. Nice vitamin. Whoa, look at my look at my sauce. <laughs> wow. Smells good. My sauce smells good. Amazing! That sauce is gonna be epic, spicy. Guys, my mom is going to have brown stew goat or mutton, whatever you want, call it. She not eat curry, so we brown stew it. The one they cook already. So this is the one they will eat chicken. Cover the pot and left it. I like to clean as I go. So uh, right now I'm trying to clean up my area that I'm working. 
So if you hear the pots and pan making noise, it's because I'm cleaning now. I like to clean as I go. To lower the work so the work does not come harder when I'm finished. So you see my hand wiping and stuff. After I finish cook, then I clean off the stove. Guys, I don't know about you guys, but when I roast breadfruit, I do this to check if I'm doing a good job. Run the knife through the heart. If the knife doesn't go through it, it is not cooked. If the knife goes go through it, it is cooked. So, I did that. I do the same for that one. When this side is burnt, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the dishes. I'm gonna wash up these dishes. Checking on this one. Turn on the fire for this one. Few minutes it will be ready. I'm gonna put a little bit more ketchup inside of it. So I went and get a few time to put inside. Also went and get my ketchup. To tip a little bit more inside. Just make it a little bit more thicker. Because I know the ketchup lover is going to say, Auntie, what happened to the ketchup? There's no ketchup. I'm gonna use a spoon and let you guys see the sauce. Mmm. Oh my god, this is good. So good. So so good. So good. Spicy. Flavorful. Garlic. Guys, you see that? So I'm gonna just let it, I'm gonna let it tick up some more to say like it thick. For me, it will be all right because it's gonna be with breadfruit. But you know, young children are, thin, are young teenagers, they like ketchup. Mmm, very good. That is so nice. Spicy though, very spicy. Hello, my sister. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> that was my sister, guys. Coming to take a peek. Now look at that. Yeah, that's 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 what I need to see. Yeah. Mmm, so good, so good. All right, I'm gonna wash this plate off. And check on the pot. and then I'm turning off that one. I'll be turning off the sauce in a few more minutes. It would be nice to show you guys when I'm eating, but that won't be possible. I would have to ask the family if they want to be on the, the channel. Because not everyone likes to be on video camera are to take pictures on those things. Some of them are old school. They don't like to be seen on, on the camera. So I respect that. Get in my hand dried so I can check my comment. Miss Wright said, the first time I made French fried chicken, the outside was nice and golden brown, but the inside was so raw. I was only 13, I had to brown stew everything. I was sad, but it was good. Um, trust me, the first time I did it, I, I asked, I asked um, my friend her honest opinions about how, how well I did. It didn't have any taste. It's done well, but it didn't have no taste, no salt, no nothing, no seasoning. It's, I french fried the chicken without any form of seasoning on it. And Miss Rice, I was embarrassed, but she said, girl, stop your knife. Mistake were made to happen. You think, you think the world is perfect? You have to make some mistake in order to learn from them. 
And that was the confidence that I needed and the correction that I needed. And from there on, I can do it. She boots me up and she said, you did good. It's fresh. We can add a little salt to it and eat it. But you did a very good job. So I will say to you, you did a good job because you figured out that you could bounce through it. And it turns out really good and everybody enjoyed it. I did, the only thing I did have to do is add a little salt. And then the sauce that I just made, she's the one who tell me how to make it. We didn't have, we didn't have Chinese sauce. And she said, we don't need Chinese sauce if we have browning. The browning can make the color look darker. And that's how I learned to use it with the browning. So, I use the ketchup, the browning, and she said you don't have to add any salt to it because the ketchup is sweet. And she did a, she did a good job. She brought that chicken to life. It, it was tasteless, it fried, but it didn't have any taste. It was fresh. And my friend, she saved the day. And that was amazing because I learned. And I'm good at it. Recently, the first time I make it, the first time I make it, I, I give it to um, one of my niece, and I said to her, listen, if you don't tell me how bad it is, I will not know. So you need to tell me how bad it is. So that one is finished, see? It's all done. Turn off the fire. It's hot, but my finger go through it. It's hot, but I'm used to roasting breadfruit. So that's why I use my hand. So for all of you on this channel, please do not come at me and say I'm burning up myself. I'm used to using the, my hand. If I was roasting it outside, I would be using my hand. or dinner paper, or some banana trash, or a dry bottle or a green bottle leaf. Yeah, that's what I will be doing. Hi, cooking with JW. JW said, hello, Alice and everyone in the chat. Hello, JW, welcome. Please remember to give me a thumbs up. Thank you for coming. I'm here cooking for the family. I'm roasting some breadfruit and frying some chicken. And my chicken, I didn't add any eggs. I just add the flour because not everyone loves eggs. Oops, my big fingers. Yeah, I learned from my mistake. I wanted to give them a different style of chicken that Sunday. <laughs> Miss Wright, you did a good job doing that different style of chicken. Believe me, you did do a good job. Miss Wright says she learned from her mistake and she gave them a different style of chicken that Sunday when she was preparing for her family. That's amazing. I, I feel your pain. And it's not a pain, it's just some accomplishment. And I'm happy. So when you roast the breadfruit, this is what happens. Your tongue will be looking like that. Otherwise, from that, the food will be tasting nice. So I'm washing up the dishes. And very soon, as soon as I'm finished, all those blocks and my finger will disappear. They won't be there. I'm making chicken today too, but big. 
I haven't baked chicken for a few months now, so I need to think about that. So JW said she's making chicken today and she's putting it into the oven. I have not baked chicken for a while now, so I might think about that the next time. My connection just went, it comes back. So guys, I'm almost finished. I'm just waiting for this big breadfruit to finish rolls. And then I am wrapping things up. Dinner will be at five o'clock. I'm not sure what the time is now. JW said she loves fried chicken. I love fried chicken too, but I can't have too much of it. Too much of it, and then my tummy won't be the same. It will be hurting. Thank you for the third person come. I'm here cooking up some food, frying some chicken, roasting some breadfruit. Miss Wright said, remember to wet the breadfruit before you Peel them. Yes, Miss Wright, thank you for the reminders. You are just like my mom. I love you, girl. I love you. I love you so much, Miss Wright. You're just like my mom. You always reminded me of the good things. Girl, I love that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Thank you so much, Miss Wright. Reminders are good. We give good reminders. One thing more, guys, the kitchen is hot because it's hot outside. One day I'm gonna show you guys my back, my backyard. It's, I have to show you guys when it's all cut. It's all going in bushes now. So I hope by next week the guy will come and cut it to make things run smooth. I'm gonna take this over here. Check on this. It's coming along nicely. And my chicken is getting there. JW said, what's that on the eye of the stove? Okay, so this right here, I have a little accident and the, um, the flour spilled on the stove top, so I'm gonna have to clean it up after everything is finished. This is breadfruit, and this is a sauce. The sauce is made of um, ketchup, a little browning, scallion, um, onion, garlic, a little thyme, sweet and spicy pepper, scotch bonnet pepper. Those are the things. So I have a little accident here and this is flour. So I have to take it up after everything is finished. Grapefruit, no, breadfruit, breadfruit, B-R-E-A-D-F-R-U-I-T, breadfruit, breadfruit that you roast. Breadfruit. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's green. This is when it's roast. I'm gonna get a green one and show you what it looks like. 
and then you, you can see the difference. So this is when it is roasted. Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna show you what it looks like before it is roasted. So this is what it looks like before it is roasted. When I pick it from this tree, this is the stem. I pop it out, pop out the stem, put it in the oven and roast it. I am going to upload a video to let you guys see the trees that I picked them from. The reason why I didn't get to upload that video is because the internet is down at the moment. So I'm using my data to do the live. So that's what the breadfruit looked like. And when I roasted it, this is what it looks like when it is roasted. So I'm just waiting for this to steam because sometimes you got to Wait for the fire to steam it. My chicken is done. You can see for yourself. And to make sure that the chicken is cooked from inside out, we cover the pot to make it steam while it's cooked. And then I use the part to make a little hole in it to make sure that um, there's no raw meat, it's all cooked. Welcome to the fourth person. Please remember to thumbs up the live. That's interesting. JW said that is interesting. Yes, breadfruit. You can cook it, you can roast it, you can um, boil it, boil it and make punch. It, it's amazing. You can also bake it too. If you don't want to roast it on the stove top like I did, you could bake it. Miss Wright was suggesting that I wrapped it into a foil. Before I put it into the foil paper, I rub some oil on it wrap it into the foil and roast it. So that one is new to me, I never know of that. So I will try her method next time and let you guys see it. And my sister tell me that if I make an X in the bottom, it cooks, it roasts faster. So that's interesting as well. I always roast it just the same way you see me roasting it here, but yeah. JW said, nice looking, yummy and nice. Yes, golden brown chicken. My family loves the chicken. They like it strips it too. So I'm turning the fire off and that's all the chicken. That's a lot. That's a lot. So the chicken is complete. Put that over there. I'm gonna take this off the fire. 
Then I have all of this to clean up because it was a little accident. And then I need to um, turn the fire down on the dispread fruit. I'm going to take it off and check it. Put that over there. And I'm going to check this to see it. if the knife go through it easily, as you can see. And then I took the knife out. It's all dry. I know my breadfruit is roasted. So I can turn the fire off. That is how I test my breadfruit all the time. After roasting it, I poke the knife through it to make sure if it's hard to go through, it is not roasted. If it's easy all the way in, it is roasted. And then it comes out dry and looking nice, it is roasted. Most person, they slit it in an X. So while it roasts, it's steaming inside out. So, guys, that's a wrap. I will be serving. Yes, JW. That's how it is. I will be serving dinner at 5 o'clock. So, I'm going to take these off the stove and clean up the stove. And love you and leave you. As what Miss Ambition Jackie would say love you and leave you guys these are hot always remember to use the dish tool to hold them please do not lift them up with your hand they are hot If the breadfruit is feeling light, it's roasted. Wow, that's a method. All right, Miss Wright, if it's light, it's roasted. Okay, I would love to try that. Never had it before. Trust me. You know when the breadfruit is nice? When you let it, um, if you pick it today, you let it um, sit for like two to three days and let it ripen a little in the sun. And once it's ripened, that's the best way to eat it. It is very nice. You can just roast it, no meat, no fish, no nothing. Just roast it and eat it just like that. And you will always want to eat roast breadfruit, especially when it is ripe. It is the best thing to have. Roast breadfruit is amazing. I'm trying not to let it get on the floor. JW, if you ever come to the Caribbean, you need to come during the summertime. And when you do, please visit the local where they do roast breadfruit and ackee and salt fish, or salt mackerel, or mackerel rundown, those things. You will enjoy it. Always book the tour. You come to the west side, you can get it on the north, north coast too, but when you come to the west side, it's all to your fingertips. It's enjoyable.
I'm gonna get a piece of paper to clean, put all of this on. Don't do what I do, it's hot. It's really hot. It's really hot, don't do what I do. I'm used to it. Okay, so I'm gonna get a piece of paper to, to put the flour on so it doesn't get on the floor. Because if I sent it on the floor, it's gonna be harder to clean up. So while it's there, I need a piece of paper. Guys, I'll get a box to scrape it in. And and I think the walkerman is here because I can hear my background very noisy. So I will assume that's that's the walkerman making noise out. So that's the mess I make and I'm cleaning it up because I like to Make sure there's no nothing left for any little little creatures. You all know what I mean to come and enter inside the kitchen. So always remember when you make a mess, you just clean it up immediately. Little creatures love these mess, and once they pass, they stop. When they pass and they don't find anything to keep them occupied, they will move on. So, and you see what I do? I I set the box underneath, so when I'm scraping it off the stove, it goes exactly or directly inside the box. And then the remaining on the stove, I'm just gonna use the hand towel to clean it up or the dish towel to clean it up. So that's what I'll be doing next. So guys, I'm gonna end the live here. I'll catch you guys in another one. My background is very noisy. So I'm gonna let the noise do their thing. When I say thank you guys for coming, stay blessed. Hope you like how I do my little cooking. It would be nice to peel it and show you how I peel it and present it to my family. But that won't be possible today. But I'm looking forward to, to do that another day. JW said, okay, nice live. I'm going to start my dinner for tonight. Catch you guys later. Okay, JW, catch you later too. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate the love. And I was on yours last night, but I didn't hear anything. I was on it for 30 minutes and it was, the screen was just dark, blank. There was no noise, no nothing. I was wondering if I was at the right place. 
but I figure more or less that maybe it was some internet challenges. So um, I'm hoping to catch you on your live next time. And I hope to see your nice cooking that you have over here. You do some nice cooking too. Your cooking are very nice. I like it. It's something different. It's not Caribbean food, but it's just different. And I like different food. So it's always nice to try different food. So what I do, I just go right ahead and wash it off. Fit it back. Once I clean them up, I fit it back up. So yeah. That's it, Miss Wright. Thank you very much. I appreciate your help and the reminders of covering the pot. Thank you. I did not remember, but mommy always told me when to cook it, chicken, cook the pot. To help the chicken steam. So those were good reminders and I definitely will try it your way and guys as I said I have a new video working on to show you how I pick these bread fruit I just roast a few out of I'm gonna share that with you after um, the internet comes up because you're gonna need more than a megabyte to upload it it's definitely gonna need the internet so after I get back my internet signal, then you guys will see the video. So please remember to watch the videos to the end, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, tell your friends, and guys, I'll see you in the next live or the next video. Love you know, bless it, keep safe, stay strong, and peace out.